My name is Mark Jeffrey. I'm a faculty member in the performance department at the school. The work that I make, um, both within a solo or collaborative capacity, is often research-based, so that you are looking at a moment in history, a moment in which you are identifying a, sp a specific context which you're wanting to identify and research. A large project that I just produced and developed over a four-year period with fellow art and tech uh, faculty Judd Morrissey was a piece w that we called The Procession. The source of that material was actually looking at the Hoover Dam, looking at the WPA, the Works Progress Administration, looking at the sort of previous depression, recession, uh, procession as it were in terms of sort of poetically looking at that language but also thinking very specifically about how we can identify history from looking at you know an event how we can process our own lives, process our own relationships to current concerns in relationship to history. It is my understanding that the performance department at the school is the only school in the United States that's actually dedicated to looking at performance art from a visual art perspective. There are other schools around the nation that uh, may be called new genres where they're actually looking at time arts, whether that be video, performance, sound. This current year, I just taught a class called Performing the Document. What was great and unique about this class was that we were looking at the special collections that are available at the school. So students were sort of reenacting, reconsidering what it is to actually look at that material and, and are sort of embedding that into their own practices. That, and that was a new class that I uh, initiated and, and we uh, worked with this past fall semester. The nature of performance, I think, historically has always been about interdisciplinarity. And I think that because oftentimes the nature of our department is looking at research, looking at ways in which you can think about different contexts, different ways in which the body is presented or uh, you know, the container of your work gets uh, represented or, or thought about, I think that we become an interesting sort of uh, conduit for others to really migrate to and then go away from. Within our department, we do different specific uh, workshops. One of the things that we do for our graduate students at the end of their two-year studies is we'll actually do a thing that we call exit strategies. We will ask them to think very carefully about what they're going to do a week out, a month out, a year out. I think specifically, what is it to be making work in an art school environment, but then how do I connect my art school practice outside into the world? I think that coming out of my own art school practice in the UK uh, 20 years ago, things were very much more localized. I think now we're in this very global space, we're in this very global environment, and I think that SCIC is a really interesting place for me in terms of even though we are here located in Chicago, there is a sort of transmission, a distribution of culture and scholarly, you know, art, design, scholarly thought that I think extends outside of this city. There's a way in which we are a sort of node, right? I think that artists and scholars and designers are a node on a different kind of network. That network is always changing, it's always shifting. And I think that uh, the ground that we uh, now live on is forever changing, forever morphing, forever developing. And I think that uh, as artists, as scholars, as designers here at SEIC, we are forever responding to what it is, to the times that is presented to us.